All over the world, almost 35.7 million people have been infected by the coronavirus. And only in India alone, almost 7 million people are infected. But how did the doctors diagnose these 35.7 million people? Have you ever wondered how does the doctor diagnose whether or not you are infected by the coronavirus? Have you wondered what PCR stands for? Or how is PCR done? And what is the purpose of doing PCR? All these questions are our topics for today's video. PCR stands for Polymerase Chain Reaction. It is a method to analyze a short sequence of DNA or RNA, even in samples containing only minute quantities of DNA or RNA. PCR is used to amplify selected sequence of DNA or RNA. It is highly efficient, in that untold numbers of copies can be made of the DNA. Moreover, PCR uses the same molecules that nature uses for copying DNA, that is, two primers or in simple words short single stranded dna sequences that are synthesized to correspond to the beginning and ending of the dna stretch to be copied an enzyme called polymerase that moves along the segment of the dna reading its code and assembling a copy and a pile of dna building blocks that the polymerase needs to make that copy how is pcr done there are three major steps that are involved in a pcr these three steps are repeated for 30 to 40 cycles. The cycles are done on an automated cycler, a device which rapidly heats and cools the test tubes containing the reaction mixtures. There are three main steps that is involved, that is denaturation or alteration of structure, annealing or joining and extension that takes place at a different temperature. The first step denaturation takes place at a temperature of 94 degrees Celsius. In this, the double-stranded DNA melts and opens into two pieces of single-stranded DNA. In the second step that is annealing, at medium temperature around 54 degrees Celsius, the primers pair up with the single-stranded sequence of DNA to be copied. On the small length of double-stranded DNA, the polymerase attaches and starts copying the template. And the last step extension takes place at 72 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the polymerase works best and the DNA building blocks complementary to the template are copied to the primer, making a double-stranded DNA molecule. With one cycle, a single segment of double-stranded DNA template is amplified into two separate pieces of double-stranded DNA. These two pieces are then available for amplification in the next cycle. As the cycles are repeated, more and more copies are generated and number of copies of the templates is increased exponentially. Well, are you now wondering what is the purpose of doing a PCR? To do PCR, the original DNA that you wish to copy need not be pure or abundant. It can be pure, but it also can be a minute part of a mixture of materials. So, PCR has found widespread and innumerable uses. For example, to diagnose genetic diseases, do DNA fingerprinting, find bacteria and viruses, study human evolution, clone the DNA of an Egyptian mummy, establish paternity or biological relationships, etc. Accordingly, PCR has become an essential tool for biologists, DNA forensics labs, and many other laboratories that study genetic material. Well. Are you wondering who invented such an amazing thing? PCR was invented by Carrie Mullis. At the time he thought of PCR in 1983, Mullis was working in Emory Valley, California for CITES, one of the first biological companies. There he was charged with making short chain of DNA for other scientists. Mullis has written that he conceived of PCR while cruising along the Pacific Coast Highway 128 one night on his motorcycle. He was playing in his mind with a new way of analyzing changes or mutations in DNA when he realized that he had instead invented a method of amplifying any DNA region. Mullis has said that before his motorcycle trip was over, he was already enjoying the prospects of a Nobel Prize. He shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry with Michael Smith in 1993. As Mullis has written in The Scientific American, beginning with a single molecule of genetic material DNA, the PCR can generate 100 billion similar molecules in an afternoon. The reaction is easy to execute. It requires no more than a test tube, a few simple reagents, and a source of heat. 